belly. Do we need to zoom in a little bit? Yeah. We're having a little chat again. Um, the little sister chat. You know, we had one about a year ago now with my dear sister Ellie. That's um, me. It's been a while, it's been a year. No, I might run you. Um, so me. Okay, anyways, um, it's actually been a year since we've chatted and a lot has changed, wouldn't you say? A lot can change in a year, I would say. Yep, I'd agree with that. <clears throat> this is the first time you've been on the channel in quite, quite some time. This is the first time I've been on camera in many months. Yeah. So. Okay, well, let's address uh, the elephant in the room, Ellie. Why aren't you posting <laughs> yeah. on your YouTube channel anymore? <laughs> Every once in a while, I get three Ooh. DMs a day asking, where's Ellie's channel? Where is my channel? That is a good question. Um, we're just taking a little hiatus for now. Take a little break. I got a real job, so can't really balance, balance all that. So what are you doing for work then? You're no longer a professional runner. <laughs> I'm not a professional runner anymore. It's okay, neither am I. No, I don't run anymore. <laughs> I'm far from that. I, uh, Aren't we all? Yeah, I haven't removed. Um, Stop playing with your hair. <laughs> sorry, my hair's a mess. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. It's been a while. I can't, like, I'm not used to the camera being here. Uh, I work in real estate now, commercial real estate to be specific. And I do marketing, so I do a lot of like, design work. So why I market, I market things. Why aren't you a professional runner anymore? <laughs> mm, many reasons, but overall just was not a great fit for me. I like having more balance in my life. So. Well, why can't you be balanced and be a professional runner? <laughs> don't, don't put me in that corner. Um, I think <laughs> <don't put> me... <laughs> I'm like blushing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just <laughs> really drilling out every question. Yeah, I don't know how to answer that. I feel like it's a certain kind of lifestyle, and I couldn't do it personally. <laughs> I need to. Have, I couldn't do it. I need more stuff going on. Like I like to be yeah. busy, and with running, like that was it. That's all I did, and I got gotta go all really in. Really bored. So, um, <laughs> I like I still like running. I might still like do it at a high level eventually, but I need to have something else going on. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like you're burnt out from running. No, not burnt out from running. I still love running. I still go on runs. My hip's hurting a little bit right now, so I haven't been running. But, yeah, I still like it for enjoyment. But, um, job-wise, happier in commercial real estate. So, that's what we're doing now. So, I think it's been a little bit more transparent these days, but how was your experience, like, money-wise in the world of professional running? Mm. Like, not many people talk about it, but no. I feel like it'd be insightful. No one talks about it. It's really hard. Uh, you don't make a lot of money. Unless you're at the world level, you're probably making more. Even then, like I know people who still don't make a lot of money. So if you want to pursue professional running and you don't necessarily get a great contract, what can you do to make more money while you're running? Working commercial estate. <laughs> well, I'm talking about when you're running. <laughs> while you're running? Yeah. Like off of running or off of something else on the side? Well, both. Um, while, while I, I can't talk. You can grow your social media presence, like Emma. That is a way to do it. If you can do that. That's what a lot of runners do. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's some kind of like side job. A lot of people have side like jobs. a part time job. Yeah, yeah. Work at a running store. People do that. Yeah. I did not do that, but <laughs> you could you could partake. Ellie just decided to be. Bored. I just yeah. I was bored. I was working part time in like the office, yeah. the club I was with, but I still needed something else. So yeah. But many people do it full time. Full time jobs, and they still run. That is, I think we've already talked about it on my YouTube channel, but people that run like elite marathoners and have full-time jobs, yeah. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. You have to run for like three hours a day. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how they do it. I feel like so props to you. If you're a, a marathoner and you're working full-time. I hear about a lot of nurses doing it. Like, that's even they're weird. already on their feet all day long at their job and they're training for marathons. So, people, you can do it. No excuses. Yeah. No excuses. You can always make it happen. Whatever you want. You can make it happen. Wow, I thought that was. <laughs> I am inspired by this. Interview. But you can. It just takes those sacrifices. Yeah. So you have to sacrifice for her. True, true. Well, you have to sacrifice a lot. Yeah. yeah. Running is a big sacrifice. And honestly, right now I'm what, 24, like 25? I have many years left, especially for elite, like distance running. People yeah. peak at like 30, so yeah, I feel I'm not really worried about it. That's what people don't really, some younger runners don't really know. Yeah, I can talk about that for a fact. had no idea when you were in high school. No, but like elite marathoners peak when you're like 30. Like I thought running was like, I thought you were done at like 18. 
<laughs> like, I'm 18. Before you go to college, you're done. Okay, we're in high school, like, training, like, hard, right? Like, yeah. Like, this is it. Like, this is the highest level. You're afraid you knew about college, right? Not really. Like, I didn't understand, like, how long after. I guess, yeah, I guess like, I knew about college. But yeah, but it's more like after it college. Now. It's just kind of a mystery. It's a mystery to everyone. Like, no one really, yeah. no one really knows the process. No one really knows the process. <laughs> Jeez, see what I have to deal with? I'm cutting that. <laughs> of course, that's the one part you cut out of the entire video. Um, yeah, people just don't really know the behind the scenes. No, like, I had no idea people ran to Longevity in running. Longevity, yeah, that was never a topic discussed. No! Cool. Yeah, I definitely think like mm. that needs to be a bigger topic. Yeah. Just longevity and how to... I mean, I feel like people coming, about, coming out about, like, I don't know, eating issues and... Yeah, the Mary Whatever. Kane, the Mary Kane stuff. stuff. I feel like longevity will become more of a topic in the future, yeah. especially for young female runners, because I feel like in the past there's been a lot of issues with people's longevity and sacrificing their longevity of the sport for temporary gain. Do you have any thoughts about that? <laughs> I have many thoughts about that topic. I think every runner has gone through something where it all pertains to longevity and whether or not you're gonna last in the sport. It's just like. A touchy subject because like, I don't even know where to go with it. There's just so much I could say about it. I think all the stuff about like Mary Kane, everything that she shared is like really good insight into how detrimental running can be if you treat it the wrong way or like view it as only a temporary thing. Like you can end up really hurting your mental and physical health. Yeah. Not or worth if you it. base all your, if you base all your happiness on That's running well, mm -hmm. that will bring you no happiness in the long term. Yeah. Because it's really just running at the end of the day. It's literally just moving your legs. Like so I feel like yeah. there's so much more you can do. There's so much more to life other than just moving your legs. I mean, even though it is... <laughs> just moving. Shocking. <laughs> but even though it is a big part of like... I mean, it has been a big part of our lives and yeah. like for our entire life. Like what, 20 years of our life? Yeah, 20 years of sports. Of, yeah, sports, 20 years of our life. But then now I think we're both kind of starting to branch out and find other sources of like fulfillment. Yeah, fulfillment. Yeah. What, have you found anything else besides running that's been fulfilling yet? Mm, still on that search, but I think I'm getting there. Like, I'm realizing that, like, yeah. I want to pursue a real career and, like, move up in business. And I can just, now that I have so much more time, I feel like I already feel so much better because I, I can just do more things now. I can yeah. see it, try things out. Whereas when I was just running, like, I kind of felt stuck almost. Yeah. Like, into one box. It's like, uh, all I can do is, like, well, because your lifestyle is based off of that, so right. that's all you're thinking about. Literally eat, running, sleep, recovery, post about running. Like, it was all just like running, running, running. I'm like, okay, I'm more than a runner. Like, I have a lot more to offer. I'm yeah. just doing, like, creative work. So now I get to do that. So I think there's a lot of positive from not just running and being identified as a runner. Yeah. Honestly, like, triathlon was probably even... That was the bigger issue for me because that was like all. Well, that was that was hours and hours yeah. every single day. Not very relatable, so we won't get into that. But <laughs> there's some triathletes on the channel. Maybe true, they true. maybe they understand. Some Iron Men watching, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, no, I think everyone deserves a little balanced life. That sounds so cliche, balanced lifestyle. But I think that's what everyone's after. It's so hard to find though. It's when you're the most happy that I you always have thought things. like I lived a balanced life in the past. I was like, I'm balanced. Oh, yeah. On another topic, how do you feel that I completed a marathon before you? Yeah, I never thought Emma would run a marathon before me. That was a little shocking, to say the least, but I'm proud of you. Were you impressed by my performance? I was honestly like impressed. So when I saw the time too, I was like, okay. I think everyone was a little bit. Yeah, because like and even the coaches were like, well, it was better than I thought you'd do. I was like, See, she Thanks. has potential in the marathon. Yeah. Elite running. 2.30 next. Side hustle. What's Side 30? hustle, 2.30 Whoa, we're posting that. Next year, 2020. 2.30, Emma Abramson, you heard it here first. I'm dropping an hour in the marathon. <laughs> I probably could do it, honestly. Okay, yeah, maybe down, don't. <laughs> don't talk about it. Don't get anyone's hopes right, up yeah, yet. That's not, that's not. You don't need to do that. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what the future has to offer. Um, so when's your first marathon going to be? Are you ever going to run one in your whole life? I think I'll run one eventually. <laughs> if I train again, it's going to be for a longer distance, so... I'd probably do the marathon eventually, but like I said, I'm 24, 25, I'm not really in a rush. What about Iron Man? Are you going to become an Iron Man? Never? I will ne probably never do a triathlon again in my life. I don't, I don't think that's accurate. I think you will do an Iron Man. You will! I know Ellie will. Okay, I'm not gonna do an iron. Why would I do 
that. You don't have to go hard. Exactly. Why would I do it unless I'm gonna go all out? Okay, Ellie, this is we're talking about balance here, okay? True, this is true. Just, Sorry. This is just for fun. You don't need to do everything at an elite high level. I think that's been a big struggle for probably everyone in our family is um Oh 100%. <laughs> is uh taking a step back and realizing that you don't have to do everything at the highest elite level. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah. I feel like we're very all or nothing. At least oh, the yeah. two of us. Very all or nothing. Um, I really like that. I don't know, and it's really annoying. It's like, okay, either I do nothing or I'm all in, you know? Yeah. It's like really... Yeah. All this I think I'm getting better at finding a balance though, but it's taken quite a few months and years. I was just talking to someone else the other day about like going for a run and not feeling like you're gonna throw up or... Like you're not going on to that level, you know, you're just doing it to actually feel better. Yeah, I've gotten better at that. Yeah. When I was so. first like coming back, whatever, after a long hiatus, I was going 7.30 and I was almost yakking at the end. Yeah, but now I just do it because I want to. I don't do it because I feel like I have to go that fast. Right. I think it just takes time. Yeah. Obviously, if you're coming from such a high level, it's gonna be hard. Yeah. To think of it differently, but yeah, my body feels pretty good now when I'm when I'm running. Yeah. <laughs> Shocking. The body feels a little, a little better than when you're oh, yeah, running. My body feels really hard. hard. Yeah. Yeah, I feel a lot healthier, so that's also important. Yeah, you've gone through some changes. If you guys have uh, seen my Instagram, you know my body's changed a little bit, so. Same. I like to just be really open with yeah. my body. Well, same. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling about everything? Are you yeah. in a good headspace, bad headspace? I mean, it was a hard year. What's changed? I mean, I would say my headspace was weird the last, like, two, three years. Same. <laughs> um, just, like, extremes, you know? Very extreme. Yeah. And now I'm, like, plateauing. I feel like I've okay. reached a place now, like, where I feel better in my body. Like, yeah. I look better. I don't know. I didn't like looking how I used to look, so. <laughs> <laughs> and it was hard to change, like, because I'm... It's just hard to change. It takes time, your body, to... Gain more. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. No, I feel a lot better. My body works again, too. So the hormones are back. Yeah. It's always good. I'm a woman. Okay, cutting that <laughs> out. Kidding, cutting that out. <laughs> How's your body feeling? Um, it's it's like you said, it's flat telling. I feel like it's been it's been put through the ringer. I've like really put it through, through the ringer over the past couple of years. Avery Anderson's really like to just do a number on himself. Yeah, I don't know why I did that, but um All or nothing. <laughs> um but I feel like it's finally plateauing. I'm in a much better like headspace with my body now. Yeah. I was having some real struggles, especially like, the year after college when I graduated, but it's slowly gotten better. And now I feel like I'm perfectly fine where I'm at, which is a good feeling because I don't feel like I have to change anything. And that's all I've felt like over the past year and a half is that, I have, so to true. Is that I have to change the way yeah. I look. And I'm like, I'm over it. Yeah, that's I'm over it, period. <laughs> Not my like head Um, but yeah, I just, I like don't care to, to change, change your to change my body anymore. I just want to live a normal life, so. Yeah, I agree with that. So how's your social life? <laughs> social, oh, see, that was another problem. I was really isolated the last two years, so that's partly why I felt kind of nuts. Nuts. Not just like body, like mentally I felt so nuts. And now I feel way better because I have my family. Well, not Emma. She moved away again right when I got here to San Diego. Right. So, um, but yeah, I have like family again around me, which is super key to my happiness levels and more friends. So, yeah, I'm feeling good. Going out a bit, you know, hitting the town, <laughs> living that 20, 20 something lifestyle. 28 year old life. That 28 year old life. Yeah, I'm 28. At least not 28. No. I do I look younger now, everyone? Does that look younger now and I look older? Comment below, but I look, I look younger 50, than I look 50 and Ellie looks, um, two. Yeah. So we, we've Maybe got, like we've switched. Now. Yeah, we've switched. you switched? <laughs> yeah, you look 50. Um, how's your social life? It's really good. It's a little too good, to be honest. I would agree with that. I have, <laughs> I have a lot of friends in Portland and it's really fun, but sometimes, but <laughs> sometimes it can be a little distracting. Mm -hmm. from what I want to accomplish in life and it's like I really but I really like having friends I think I really needed it <laughs> but it's just I need to find a good balance of like work and play you know and I've really been <clears throat> prioritizing the play 
I need to go back to the work lifestyle right. a little bit more. You didn't play a lot the last few years, though. So I know. Maybe so not for it. I'm giving myself a break, but I feel like I like went hard in the social life when I first moved to Portland, and now I'm kind of like, okay. That's how I felt. Time to taper off here. and, you know, work a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, well, your work schedule was a little whacked. You don't really have, like... I know, I don't have... Well, I don't... Schedule. Yeah, I don't have set hours. I mean, I do... I work... I work part time um, coaching at the University of Portland, but the, other than that, like my day is set by me, so I kind of have to figure out my own schedule. But having like the part time coaching has definitely helped set more of a schedule in my day, which has been nice. But I still need to prioritize like working more hours than I think I do. Yeah. And when I need when I need to work at night instead of going hang out with my friends, I need to actually like, work and not put up. Just work from eight to five. I mean, I could do that. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, you do a lunch break. Do I get a lunch break? Well, I get one, so you get one too. For myself? Yeah, you well, get an hour lunch. I give you one. <laughs> <laughs> well, my lunch break is me like posting on my food Instagram, so I'm still technically working. <laughs> oh, Emma. This is the life I live. Social media. Influencer. Yeah, one of the one of the most one of the things that bothers me most is when someone tells me that I don't work. Yeah, people I, say that all the time to me. They're like, oh, "You just dance on your Instagram story." Okay, see. No, um, I think it's a lot of work. Like, I could not. Well, I could manage a social media account, but I don't think that would be like what I want to do. It's a lot. Of, it takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of effort planning. and time and planning and, and creativity and yeah, the co it's kind of stressful. Like always trying to think of like new things to post. Yeah, and then getting so big, so hard. But no, it actually is. is after a while. Like when you're posting, I don't know, multiple videos a week and trying to come up with something that's interesting to your audience. It's pretty. It's fun, but it's like hard as well. It's not easy. Well, you're one person too. Like exactly, I don't, I don't have a production. I don't. Person, I don't, I don't right? have a team around me. You're not Shane Dawson, who has like five people filming for you and editing for you. It's like <laughs> I know. It's literally just me. You have to be. That's why you're dancing on your Instagram. I know. That's what you have to do. I gotta be entertaining. Oh um, yeah, I was. Emma got back here, and I was like, she was dancing around here in the kitchen. I was like, whoa. Since when are you such an entertainer? I just gotta be uh, personality. Yeah. Um. But yeah, and it's like trying to find collaborations with brands too. Like it's just a lot yeah. more than I think people understand. What and it just is. editing takes so editing way takes longer so long. than you think. Like yeah, so long. But I'm so glad that I've continued this YouTube channel because the opportunities that it's given me has been unreal. And I don't, I don't even know what I would be doing with my life if I didn't start this YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm really excited to become your manager soon. I was gonna become my manager. Yeah. So that you want. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> Comments down below. Should I be Emma's manager? Yes or no? Ellie doesn't even know what it means. I know. <laughs> I'm major in business. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're managing social media person. <laughs> um, Just saying. What's next for you? What is next? Uh -huh. um, okay, well, this year's been like a... Kind of like an eye-opener. Like, what do I want to do, right? Yeah. So kind of just decisions. Try to figure it out. Yeah. Big decisions. Testing the waters. Yeah, lots. Just a lot of series. Like, a big series of events. Just everything was a kind of a spectacle. Yeah, I feel that. So next year I'm hoping it's not a spectacle okay. and I'm kind of like getting settled into my job. Like I like my job now, so I'll probably stay there and just, I don't know, see where I, see where I want to go with my career. Kind of focus more on the career side of things. Yeah. Stay in shape and I'm still working out, so. Ellie's grinding hard in the gym. Mm, wouldn't say hard, but I would <laughs> say I'm at the gym. So we are uh, working on the fitness, you know, keeping a baseline. <laughs> Any yeah. New Year's resolutions for you? Um, hmm. Good question. Uh, just become a better person, you know. Just become a better person. Yeah. That's a big one. Hey, throwing it out there. What's wrong? I'm gonna become. Nothing's wrong. Just I want to be better. Like I'm already. I want to be better. Pretty great, but I want to be the best. <laughs> I hated that. That's not my goal. I don't know what I want. I don't know yet. I haven't thought about it. Okay, you still have a month, kind of. Right. Yeah, yeah. I have yeah. to take my time. That's some, I can't just throw out things. Yeah. What's yeah. your goal? Um, I think just getting into a better work work schedule, That's like being more structured in my day. I want to wake up earlier. I keep having this thing where I go to bed at like three in the morning and I'm like on my stomach with my TikTok open, and I like have one eye open and scrolling, watching TikToks at two in the morning. I don't like that. I know I need to stop really? doing that. I don't know why I keep doing that. That's unhealthy. I, it really is not yeah, good. That, not there's good no girl. no purpose. No, at all. What is that doing to better your life? It doesn't do anything. And I. That's the thing. I've been off social. 
no offense, I know you're a social media influencer, but like, I feel a lot better now that I'm not always on it. Yeah, Ellie doesn't like my pictures anymore, it makes me cry. I did mute Emma at one point. <laughs> <laughs> you already told me that. But I needed to for like my own, like just to get away from like my whole past life. To get away from life. me, you know. No, just past like- Past life. Well, <laughs> not that I'm, I'm my current, people in my, in my past are still around, but. I need, little, past, I need a little, I need a little breather. I need a little I feel that. Yeah. Um, so. well, do you have anything else that you want to talk about to the fellas mm. before we end this chat until next year? <laughs> until until the next comes. November. 2020 recap, November with Ellie and Emma. Yeah, that might be the next time you guys see me, honestly. Yeah, it could be. Okay, anything else you want to say? I feel like it's kind of covered the bases. Anything else you want to say? Um, no. Just, I want to say you love me. You care for me? And that you're excited to be back with me right now? Alright, so this is going to be the end of this video. I missed you guys, honestly, I missed you guys. Yeah, Ellie misses the fellas. I do miss the, the fellas. fellas miss you, Ellie. That just touched my hand. <laughs> Alright, fellas, do you want people to follow you on Instagram or do you not care anymore? Honestly, give me a follow. I okay, mean, Ellie. Talk to me in my messages. Ellie still, Ellie, yeah, Ellie still reads the DMs. Hey, at Ellie I'll be back Ramson. in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think that's it for now. Should we give a big old peace out, fellas? Like the good old times? <laughs> All right, one, two, three. Peace out, fellas! <laughs>